Here's what I'm about to do. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. So the hair I have in my head today that we're gonna get into is from Outre. It is 100% human hair, you guys. You know, we're used to the synthetics from Outre, but today we're getting into human hair from Outre. It's 100% unprocessed human hair, so it looks and feels really good. And I have this in Peruvian Wave in 18 inches. I'm not usually an 18 inch kind of girl, but I really like it at this length. Round of applause for this packaging. I see you out tray with the gold label box and all of that. The cap lay is super flat, but you still got adjustable straps in there to adjust it to fit you if necessary, which I love because I can't stand when you parts are too big. Be all lumpy and bumpy on your head and stuff. Now, we'll be honest with y'all, the texture is not my exact matchup, so I had to do some things to make it work for me. So if you're interested in seeing how I got here, Keep on watching. So the beginnings of any good U part is a nice laid foundation. I have my hair slicked back. I just slicked it back with some jam and uh, you know, just products and all that. You can braid your hair if you prefer to, you know, have it braided down. That's totally up to you. I don't have no hair in the back, so you know, you see this little onion tail. I don't, I wasn't doing all that braiding for what? My hair is short. And then as far as my leave out, I went with a very narrow amount because my hair is also very thick. My hair is freshly washed and everything, so what I'm gonna do here is just take my hot comb through it and press it out, mainly for pressing out the roots. Trying to stay away from my hair that I slicked because I do not want to get product, you know, baked into my hair. That's not good. I am tech lax, um, but I am due for a relaxer, so I got about like, I got about like this much new growth because I have not gotten a relaxer like in months, and I mean some months. So I need to straighten out my roots to make sure that they're on point with blending in with the hair. I don't put my hot comb up too high because I'm going to go over this with my flat iron as well, so I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. Even though I am tech lax but you know, I still got a little bit of texture. I'm not trying to get heat damaged, <laughs> just relax for damage. So I'm just gonna clip this down into the hair around the perimeters. <laughs> Now some of these combs are clipping combs and then some of them are sliding combs. The majority of them in here are the sliding combs. We're in good shape. I love the fit of this unit. It's like really just sitting flat on my head. Cause you know sometimes with U parts, the big issue with that is that they be too big and then it's like all lumpy and bumpy, but nah. Sis is sitting smooth, sitting pretty. I'm here for it. So I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle and see what we're working with. I had to spit my gum out. I'm so sorry y'all if y'all hear me chewing before we get to this part of the video. So what I'm gonna do, because you see this is like, my hair is straight, this is wavy, is I'm gonna put a braid out into this hair. Now I feel like you can do bantu knots or you know any type of way to get some heatless curls, uh, but this is just a bit of a faster way if you have time constraints in your life. And then also you could just straighten it and then leave these braids sitting in your head like overnight but again time constraints so that's not what i'm about to do i saw this method once like watching different videos on curls and stuff i don't remember it was years ago but i use this for when i do like weaves and stuff that were wavy so i'm about to do that for y'all right now and i'm gonna do the same thing to this side okay so now that i got these two braids in here's what i'm about to do Gonna go down this braid, essentially pressing it together, and I'm gonna twist the ends. Well, just make sure to curl it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna let that sit. 11 minutes later. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, so I'm ready to take these out and see what we're working with. You could also like try Bantu knots with this if you wanted to. Um, what else? You could probably do heat rollers. You could actually probably even maybe use a curling iron or something and curl hair individually. You know what I mean? Like springy curls or something. Or really just perm rods even if you wanted to. This is my first time if I didn't mention like doing a wavy 
kind of you part i usually go for kinky straight as y'all seen or a body wave because body wave i can disguise a lot easier so this is a little bit of a challenge but i, I think we got it Okay, that's one side. I'm happy with what I'm seeing, but the thing here is it does need a little work. This texture, the natural texture of this unit is not quite matching up with the natural texture of my hair. So what are we gonna do? This is a very jet black color naturally, and my hair is more of a dark, dark brown, like a 1B kind of color. So you can see the contrast there. The first thing I'm gonna do though is take some shine serum. This is the same heat protectant shine serum that I use when I blow dried my hair before I came on camera. But I'm gonna put some of that over the hair too because I feel like my hair, like you know, the natural shine of my hair is not totally matching up with this texture either. But as you can see, these are pretty quick fixes, nothing too bad. This is human hair from Altrice, so you know you can like dye this um, or lighten this if you want to, whatever you need to do to make this unit work for you. You know, you're not just limited to it having to be this way. But what I'm gonna do, take some high beam hairspray and I'm going to tint my hair with it to match up better. Edge control, I'm gonna just slick my edges a little bit. All right, it's coming together pretty nicely. If you're in the premiere for this, tell me what y'all think so far. I think this last probably thing I'm gonna do here is add some layers. And y'all know I'm good for adding some layers, but the reason I'm adding layers here is so that the unit doesn't stop here and go down here. It kind of flows a little better. Y'all know I mostly do this with U-parts and I was watching a TikTok of Jordan Woods get her U-part put in and her stylist actually does this too. Like just layers it out. So that way it's like a little bit of a, it's an even transition instead of it just being bop, bop. Now keep in mind, once you get it to work for you the first time, you won't have to do as much again the second time third time, fourth time, however many times you can wear it. I am being very careful though because I'm kind of close to my actual hair. So I don't want to cut into that. I'm gonna set this down with my scarf for a little while. Especially since I use edge control my edges and everything and then we'll come back after a few and see what we're working Okay, with. you guys, so here is the final look. As you can see, I did change some things. Here's what happened though. I did it all wrong. Off camera, it's been an experience. I'm so sorry I didn't catch it on camera, but I was just experimenting, you know, cause this texture really doesn't totally match with my actual hair texture. And all this time I was thinking, okay, I needed to be slick with some heat, but for some reason I just could not get it right. Here's what I did though. I went for the wet look. I pulled out my moisturizer, which is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisturizer, and I just put it all in the hair. I was taking a chance, cause you know, I couldn't go back to having my hair being dry after that, but it worked out. So I, I got it like moisturized and just kind of more like this texture by using this. And then I also put some water on it and also a little bit of edge control around here just to get a little bit of waves and everything. And I also played around just using my oils here for shine. Now again, I am tech slack, so it might not work the same way for you, so you just gotta play with it and see which way it works for you. Or maybe your hair matches up to this texture perfectly, and you don't really need to do much at all. Once I started weighing my hair down with product, y'all, it changed the game. It was not hard to blend. It was actually pretty simple, pretty easy. I probably didn't even need to straighten it. Like, I could have skipped that and just went into scrunching my hair with the products. But you live and you learn, and now I know, so you don't have to do the same thing. You can learn from my mistakes. If you're interested, details will be down in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye